my name is Julie and this is KS Mom Crochets. Today is crochet podcast number seven and I have one finished object and quite a few whips. So yeah, so my first finished object and my only finished object is this little guy. This is the Brontosaurus Amigurumi by Michelle Estrada or Pixie Marie Creates, which is her Etsy and her YouTube channel name. And I will link both of those below. I really enjoy her patterns and I like watching her YouTube channel. She's really fun to watch. Um, I used Premier Fruits in the colorway banana, which is this one. Didn't use very much at all. I still have plenty left. Um, I used a 2.75 millimeter hook and 7 millimeter safety eyes. And I absolutely love how he turned out. I do not color control with this yarn. I just keep on working on each piece and this is just how it turned out. Um, the head and the body are all one piece and it's super neat how she um, constructed this pattern. I really liked making him. I think he turned out super cute. I'm probably going to remake him in the future in a bulky yarn so that I can give him to my nephew because I think that he would love it but yeah this is my one and only finished object so moving on to whips I have a few that I've started and the first one is one that you've already seen it is Elena Deer I will pop in her picture right here so you can see her all finished and um, this pattern is a free pattern by the author of the Pika Pal books I think their alias is Pika Pal. I will put the real name right here because I cannot say it. Um, this pattern I'm doing for Amigurumi Wars, which is hosted by Lynette over at Charm Grammy Crochet. And I will link her video where she explains all about Amigurumi Wars just in case you're interested. Elena Deer is uh, living in this bag. Well, the yarn is. And then her pieces are living in this bag. So. Um, I am using a 2.75 millimeter hook and these are her legs which I showed you already. I'm using light brown and this color was called beige when I bought it but I just looked on their website not long ago and they changed it to camel. So this color is camel and then this color is black. I'm also going to be using off white and the color lavender for the dress. So I showed you the legs and I did have a little bit done on her face but I did get her head done and I think I used 9 or 10 millimeter safety eyes. But This is what her head's looking like. I haven't made her ears yet. I did start on her body. Oh, a little tangled up here. And this is all I have done. But yeah. This is kind of, the arms I think are a little bit shorter than the legs, but yeah, this is what she's looking like. I'm not in a big rush to finish this pattern because it's just something that I wanted to do for the Amigurumi Wars. So yeah, I'm not going to rush myself on that one. I kind of had a little bit of a squirrel and uh, started making some other things. <laughs> So, uh, my next work in progress is um, called Sunflower Doll Susie, and it's by this name right here. I think it's Huggles, Hugles, I don't know, but I'll put it right here. This is on an Etsy shop, or that is the name of the Etsy shop, and I will link it below. I have been admiring this pattern for a long time and then with Amigurumi Wars one of the paid for pattern links was not working so Lynette gave us permission to use any paid for pattern that we wanted and this is the one that I chose and uh, I will pop in a picture right here so you know what I'm talking about um, and this is what I have so far I just love it so much I know it looks a little funny right now, but uh, I think it's going to be super cute when I get done. I'm using a 2.75 millimeter hook. I am using 
um, drop saffron again. I'm using moss green, um, off white. And this is actually Chepier's uh, Katona in the color Shell. Um, I didn't write what size safety eyes. I think I think they might be 10 millimeter safety eyes. I'm not sure, honestly. But I'm thinking 10. They're pretty small. Um, for the sunflower that goes on the head, I am going to use this color. Help, that's better. That color, and it is called Sunshine. That's appropriate. So I like this. I think this will be super cute. I can't wait to finish it. Um, I made all this in one day. I was so excited, but I stopped and I was like, I really need to get a little bit more progress on Elena Deer or else I think I could have finished this one or got closer to being finished. Um, I did go ahead and read on in the pattern because I was like, oh, am I going to have to sew all those sunflower petals on to the head or the hat? Cause you make like a separate piece that goes over the top and you don't you crochet them on which is awesome so I'm looking forward to getting this finished like I said I've been admiring this pattern for a while and it was on sale and I said why not let's just do it I do have cardboard in the bottom like we are uh, like I do with my gnomes and she is going to sit really well. She stands up really well. So I'm looking forward to finishing that. Now moving on to my last work in progress, which is a blanket. I know, right? I was watching TV and, uh, last night and I just could not concentrate on working on Elena Deer. I kept miss doing my rows you know and I was like I really need to start something that I can just work on that's mindless and I don't have to worry about thinking about it so I have this book it's called 100 Afghans to knit and crochet and it's got some really good patterns I got this really cheap off eBay <laughs> I'm always talking about eBay but um this is by Jean Limehauser and Rita West. Oh gosh, I don't know. I bought, I butchered that. But there's the names of the authors. They have lots of books, I've noticed. Um, but yeah, so the pattern that I'm doing is just a plain old Granny Ripple is all it is. But it is called Granny Gro Granny <laughs> Granny Goes Straight. And uh, like I said, it's just a, a gran Granny Ripple blanket. Let's see, let me get the top. And you can find patterns for this on YouTube, online. I mean, I just like using my books. So this is how big it is. I'm using all Big Twist yarn from Joann's. And these are the colors that I decided on. I'm sure my color choices is not going to be for everybody, but I think they look good together. <laughs> so this is what I'm going with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do five rows of each color. And then I think if I do four repeats, that should be 80 rows and it should be long enough for a lap again. It's not like a full on, you know, it's just going to be something to use on the couch so yeah so the first color that i'm using is called slate blue and then i'm going and then i'm using this color which is eggplant this one is just a leftover i have extra though but this one is eggplant and then this one is called dark teal Let's see if i can hold them all and then the last one is called dark coral so these, whoops, these are my colors. Like I said, it's not going to be for everybody, but I came in here last night and I was just looking behind me here at my yarn and I just started pulling colors out and this is what I decided to use. So yeah, it's just a simple pattern. You know, once you get your basic, you know, your beginning row and, um, it's just a one row repeat and it's just like I said it's just a cluster stitch it's the granny stitch and the granny stitch is my favorite 
so this is what I'm doing so that is all my finished objects and all my whips so let's move on to acquisitions so I did find because as you all know I love this premier fruit charm and I did find it on walmart.com and they had free shipping now when I bought this it was only three dollars and 49 cents but I think they have increased it to four dollars and 49 cents I think since then it may be different now I don't know I haven't checked today but I bought these I bought another grape which you all have already seen the Tudor fans in this but I loved the yarn so much and purple is my favorite color so I I just wanted another one <laughs> But this is, uh, like I said, grape, and this yarn is a number one. Here, I'll hold this one up and read this one. Um, it has 235 yards. It's 93% acrylic and 7% PBT. Uh, you can wash and dry it. It recommends a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and... 2.75 millimeter knitting needles. Is that all right? It's made in Turkey. Like I said, this is the Premier Fruits Whoop. in the color grape. And if you watched my other videos, you've seen my Tudor fans. I don't have them in here, but this is how it works up. The second color that I got is called Dragon Fruit, and it is all the same specs. And right here is how it works up. I'm super excited to get this. I don't know why I didn't get this one. I only got a few the first time I ordered. And I actually got them. The last one's from Premier. Because um, I had like some reward points from like my birthday. <laughs> so I thought I'll use those. But yeah, I was excited to find this on Walmart. But like I said, if they did increase the price by a dollar. But you don't have to pay shipping if you have... If you spend 35 or if you have Walmart Plus. And then this one is called Plum. Like I said, purple is one of my favorite colors. And I absolutely love that too. And that's what it looks like worked up on socks. So these are my new yarns. So I got these in the mail two days ago. And I was excited. I opened them. I was like, yay, they came in. And then today, my husband went to check the mail, and they sent them again. And I was like, did I pay for those? Did I order those twice? And I was checking my bank account, checking my Walmart account, and I didn't. So I don't know. I guess it was an accident. I don't, I don't know. But I got them twice. So that was cool. <laughs> so I do have one more acquisition. I misplaced it, but I found it. <laughs> And it is just a tulip hook. I never had one before, and I've seen Lori Hooks was using one. Well, I know there's a lot of people that use them, but that, she's the one that I've seen. And uh, obviously, Rebecca uses them too. But uh, Lori was talking about how these do better on the gnomes, and I thought, well, I'm going to try me a tulip hook. So I did order this off of Amazon. It is the... 2.75 millimeter hook which is my favorite hook for amigurumis and uh, I will show you the difference between because I do have my clover hook in here if I can grab it out here so as you can see on this clover hook the shaft is a little bit longer than the tulip and then the handle is a little tiny bit longer and a little tiny bit wider. As far as how the yarn glides, I could not tell a difference. I could not. But as you can see, I have really big hands. Like I say I have man hands. And my fingers are long. So I feel like that because my hands are so big, um, the clover works better for me um, I did love using this but after I used it for a really long time it kind of made this part of my hand hurt a little bit 
but I think that's just because my hands are so big. So if you have little hands, this hook would probably be awesome for you, and I will use it, you know. Um, never hurts to have too many hooks, but I don't know if I'll get more or not. I'm really partial to my clovers. Sorry if there's a bunch of tulip hook fans. I'm not dissing it because I really do love it. But like I said, got big hands. And uh, I need a little bit of a longer hook. So yeah, that is all my acquisitions. Um, I actually got that uh, like a week and a half ago or something. And I forgot to show you all. So I thought I would just add it on to this video. I also want to thank Kelly over at Crochet Mall for Life for her shout out. Um, in case you haven't heard about Kelly, she is a super fun lady to watch. I enjoy her videos so much. Um, she makes some wonderful amigurumi and other projects, and I think that you would like her. So thank you again, Kelly, for your shout out. I appreciate it so much. Now, my last thing that I want to talk about is upcoming. And last video, I said that I had a surprise for you all, but I wanted to kind of make sure that I had permission to say or talk about it. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because I will do an introduction video. And let me just keep you from suspense. I have um, asked Rebecca over at Yarn and Pajamas to do a gnome surprise collab with me. And she said yes, and I'm so excited. So I did receive this in the mail today. I'm not going to show the other side because it has my address on it. And I wish that I could. Let's see if I can cover up the addresses here, which I think Rebecca's is on there, but I just want to show you. Look how cute that is. I said I never get mail and when I got this today, I was so excited. Like, I mean, I was so excited. And it has that little gnome on it. But anyway, what we are doing is we are picking out a gnome for each other. So, you all will be hearing about this collaboration very, very soon. Hopefully, she's still waiting to get mine in the mail. So, hopefully, the mail will run soon for her um, to get mine so that we can get started on this and like I said there will be an introduction video explaining all about what we're doing and everything and uh, yeah so I hope you all will tune in for mine and Rebecca's gnome surprise collab and I'm so excited <laughs> but anyway uh, that is all that I have for you all today I am going to get some crocheting done uh, tonight because I go back to work tomorrow and uh yeah, hopefully I can get some more progress done on this blanket. And I really, I really want to finish that sunflower doll because I just think he's so cute. Oh, I can't wait to finish that one. I'm really excited about it. And uh, yeah, so I will uh, see you all very soon for the gnome collab. So be looking for that, like I said. And uh, if you want to, you can hit that subscribe button. Um, I love getting to know you all. And the best way to do that is through the comments. Uh, leave me a comment if you want to. And if you like the video, then you can give me a thumbs up. But uh, yeah, the comments, they make me so happy. And I try to respond to everybody. I hope that I never miss anyone. Um, I try really hard to keep up with that, which I don't have a lot right now. But uh, yeah, I try to respond to everybody because that is the whole point and making these videos is to make some yarny friends and I look forward to getting to know each and every one of you all and thank you for joining me and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!